Welcome to Friday Night Stevens Cards. Hope everybody is doing well. This evening's choices are Blade and Bow Bourbon. And we've got 2022 Mosaic Football and Capstone Baseball. All retail. Had the Walmart resupply today. Send in the link out now. Bear with me and we'll get started. We say Fitzy and Bogarts. How are you, buddy? Hope y'all are doing well. Do a quick run through, review, tasting on this bourbon. We'll get right to the cards, I promise. Hope everybody's had a fun week of work or school, ready to kick back for a couple days. Watch a little playoff football maybe this weekend, maybe a little basketball. Good to hear Bogarts. It's been a while, man. All right, we'll get settled in. The blade and bow comes from the uh, uh, Stitzer Weller distillery there in Louisville. And if you've heard the name of that distillery, you've probably heard it on the heels of the uh, name of Pappy Van Winkle. Uh, the distillery closed in the early 90s, I think, and then was repurchased by one of the conglomerates Diageo uh, but turns out they weren't wanting the distillery as much as they were the uh, bourbon that was in the warehouses that came with the deal uh, gets its name five keys from the five keys that hung on the uh, door of the original Stitzer Weller distillery and old man Van Winkle believed it was, uh, I believe, yeast, fermentation, distillery, or the distillation, aging, and they're leaving out the fifth key. But you guys can certainly Google it. All right, let's try it. First initial smell you get. A little bit of vanilla, a little cherry. Definitely good. And what they got along with the uh, distillery, talking about those barrels in the warehouses, some of the old Van Winkle stuff, the process that they use in their distillation is called a Solera method. Basically, that means taking uh, what's well, an unknown amount of the old Van Winkle barrels and applying those to uh, some of the newer uh, barrels that they were going to put out for the product. And basically, it could be a drop, could be a little more, but it's mostly, mostly in the myth and spirit of things. And all right, let's get into the capstone first. We'll get a couple baseball blasters out of the way. Seen a few of these open. Cards ended up looking better than I imagined, and I think it's on a pretty thick stock. Get an auto or a relic out of each of these blasters. And we'll get right to it. Got one, two, three, four, five, six packs, five cards per pack, 30 cards total per blaster. Hey, Mr. Dupree. How's Chuck doing, buddy? Parallels are available. And these are pretty cards. They are on a thick stock, if you can see. 
nice foil background to them and the pics in the background are high quality not too bad there's Stephen Kwan and a more refractorish Trey Turner I do like those there's Tatis so I'm taking some BP working his way back I'm doing good buddy now these I did say there are blue I don't know if they're exclusive we probably should have looked at the box a little closer to see one autograph and mem blaster exclusive rookie materials insert and six exclusive blues so we are going to get some blue parallels out of these thomas this is a pucky oh that's pretty sharp i like that say a suzuki new age that's pretty cool gold painty and a base j-rod relic was nothing to write home about yep i saw the uh autograph and relic checklist on there and it looked pretty extensive so that's the expectation but it's good to see some rookies in here we'll take a shot at it anyway and i think we're up on our first what feels like a relic it's a little thicker pack there's one yepes and luis urias and we'll save that looks to be a relic matt brash and a pete alonzo insert deja vu pretty cool there's Tim's car channel. How you doing, Tim? Hope your weekend is kicking off. And it's Connor Wong Relic. Like I said, definitely a thick card stock to him. Back almost has that uh, Diamond Kings look with the font. But not too bad. Not too bad at all. We'll see if we can land a couple decent rookies out of the two boxes that we've got to open. Then we'll get moving on to some Mosaic football. And we'll let everybody continue on with their weekend. All right, number two. There's Joe Ryan. Reese Neer. Riley Adams. And looks like the blue is going to be uh, Jordan Alvarez. Oh, that's a sharp insert. Big Bang Pete Alonzo. I do like the that foil refractor look that these all have. And these were twenty seven ninety nine, I believe, as the cost of blasters increases. There's Steven, how you doing, Mr. Starnes? Rizzo followed by Colton Welker. Rosarena. There we go. Nice Jose Miranda in that blue. And a J Ram Summit. That's, I do like these inserts. Very nice. I've got a couple left in blaster number one. All right. Eric Cosmer, Ryan Villad, Benintendi. Ooh, that's a nice blue hunter green rookie. And Key Bryan in the new age. Very sharp. All right, last pack and blaster number one. Riley Adams once more. Raffy Devers. And we've got a Gabe Arias. That one's got a that one's a little different. If you can notice the background on it, and it's got a relief feel to it. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll scope that out as well. See what we're looking at. There's a blue Kyle Muller. Yoan Durant. Finish out blaster number one. We'll grab another and get to it. Then the mosaic. Probably hard for you all to see unless you screenshot and really enhance it. 
Yeah, good chance, or at least a fighting chance for some numbered cards in here. Like I said, extensive checklist uh, for relics and autos, but it's got all the good guys you'd want in there. I think the hobby boxes come with two autos and two relics per. And again, one autograph or relic in these blasters. All right. Six more packs. All right, start with Chris Bryant, Key Brian Hayes, another one of these sort of 3D that are George Kirby, Blue Josh Bell, oh that's sharp, nice wander there and the crest insert, that's pretty good, good start. Number two, Dylan Cease, Jose Altuve, something backwards, but it's not thick. We might have an autograph. There's Blue Mateo and a nice Corey Seager Summit. I like those inserts. All right, we're getting to it quick in both of the blasters, so let's see. All right, we got Cutter Crawford and a crown. Autograph for Boston. Cutter Crawford. Not too bad. Like I said, extensive autograph checklist. All right, number three, Robert Suarez. Got Alec Bohm. We got Jose Siri. Blue is going to be Lucius Fox. Ooh, nice new age there. Jeremy Pena. Uh, let's see, Kyle. It'll probably be, since I'm off for the next week, we'll probably be looking towards, uh, let's say, Friday, Sunday, Monday night. I'll make a post in the community section. We'll drill down a day in time, but we're just a couple days off. We say, Tom. And Chuck, I haven't either, buddy. I have to look up Mr. Crawford. There's Contreras, Bryce Harper, JP, Sean Manaya, and we got Miggy Cab in the Deja Vu. That's a new looking insert. Oh, Miggy and Spencer Torkelson. I didn't realize that was torque batting and. Miggy in the foreground there. That's a pretty cool duo. That's not bad for the old Tigers. All right. Two packs of this. And we'll get into some football. There's Zimmerman. Josh Bell. Jorge Mateo. The blue is J.D. Martinez. And Big Bang again. I like those inserts. Rizzo. And last pack. Blaster number two. We'll go Lucius Fox. Sean Manaya. J.D. Martinez. Blue is going to be Willie Adamas. We got Walker Bueller and yet another insert, Velo. First time seeing that. Overall, checklist, give it about a C. Like I said, card quality, we'll go with the B with that. Nice thick stock. It's got that good foily, shiny refractor on it. Uh, autograph and relic checklist, we probably go about a C. It's got good names on it, but uh, very, very extensive. And they are uh, sticker autos. Hey, yeah, we say Mr. Gradeworthy. All right, fellas, cheers. We'll get on with some football, see if we can't uh, go Brock Purdy hunting. 
I think everybody in here is subscribed. Make sure you've got the notifications on for the next sale. Like I said, it'll be just a couple days away. We'll do some baseball. We'll do some basketball. We'll do some football. It's been a while since we've been together. All right. Surprised to still see this on the shelf after the restock. There was a day not so long ago that this would get swallowed up by guys waiting in line, but we've got Mosaic Football for 2022. Looking for the ultra rare Razzle Dazzle insert. Six cards per pack, six packs per box. Chances at Honeycombs, Genesis. It would take 10 minutes to read all these, but you can get numbered cards. And I think you're, there's an orange, there it is, orange fluorescent parallels. Those are numbered to 25. And of course, rookies. Uh, in the scripts autographs. Oh. We've got a few of these to open. We'll get right to it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Silvers are possible. Variations. All right, starting off with LT. And rookie Malik Willis, not bad. Alan Lazard. Robbie Anderson. Cam Thomas. That mosaic rookie. And Derek Carr, will to win. Will he be on the Raiders? Me too, Grade Worthy. We were just talking about the Chrome Sonic that's getting ready to come out. I've got the checklist, saw a couple pics of what it's going to look like. Looks pretty neat. Um, but haven't seen much other than the expected rookies for next year's flagship. We'll see if they stick to the release date. I'm sure with it being such a big product, they'll try not to miss it. And if they do, it surely won't be by much. Comes Jamar Chase, Peyton Manning, Ocho Cinco. These packs are sweaty, but that is just some card dust on there. Kevin Byard. All right. Skylar Thompson, rookie QB. Ooh, nice green there. Very fitting for Mean Joe Green and as Dwight likes to give all these to Tom, we'll set them aside. The greens are not numbered. I knew that, but I still turned it over anyway, just to be sure. All right. Pack number three. Jeffrey Simmons. Rookie James Cook in the debut. Not too bad there. Rondell Moore. Hunter Renfro. Trey Lance, will be fighting for a spot. And insert Hall of Fame, Roger Staubach. All right. That's it, Tom. You just got to find your 10-year-old disguise. And I think you're in with the number of these cards that we're going to end up sending your way. You can't lose. All right, Jameis Winston, Lamar Jackson, Javante Williams, Ray Lewis, Damian Pierce is one of the rookies, got Logan Thomas for Tom's Commanders there in green, and more Kid Reporter. I should hide those codes so we don't spoil Tom's chances. No Glaber in Sonic, Al. Kind of surprising. Of course, it is a... I know they took the checklist down to, what, 200, 225 cards, something like that. <laughs> yeah. May need to shave, Tom, but I think you can do it, buddy. 
There's Valdez Scantling. T. Higgins. Chris Jones. Nice Randy Moss. Not too bad. Not silver. Tyler Beatty and the C. Make sure. I think they put the V if it's any sort of variation. They're pretty plain about that. Oh, that's not bad. Joe Mixon in the mosaic bang insert. Game versus the Raiders. All right. One to go in this. My son had appeared at 12. I'm good. Come to think of it, I think mine did too. May not have been well filled in, but that's about the time we started. Uh, Super Bowl MVP, Tom Brady. That's a nice card. Hey, Broadway Joe. More quarterbacks. Roger Staubach. Quarterback again. Ryan Tannehill. Rookie Roger McCreary for the Titans. Not bad there for the Patriots and the Green Mosaic. Pierre Strong, Jr. Let's cover that code real quick. All right, blaster number one. The cards look pretty good. No QC issues. Look pretty well centered. Foils not peeling. A lot of different cards. Collation doesn't seem to be an issue so far. I've got to get the old tool back in here. The pen barely cutting it. Hey, we say Jason. Hey, you buddy. All right, six more inbound. And coming at you. That is good. That is good. All right, numero uno. There we go. Good start there, debut, James Cook. More Jameis Winston. Court Sutton. Cooper Cup. Tristan Ebner, rookie for the Bears. Green Mosaic. Jonathan Allen, more for Tom. Four Commanders. <laughs> Sounds like we were all getting that Bobby Brady voice change over at an early age, weren't we? All right, I like the background on that. Stars and stripes. There's Lamar. Valdez Scantling. Have we seen these before? Nope. There's Mark Andrews. Devon Dre Campbell. Ooh. That's sharp. Taysom Hill. Mosaic. And the bang is going to be Derrick Henry for the Titans. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I've seen the prices on those parties be a little loud, but, uh, you know, I haven't seen a lot of people hitting them. Of course, I haven't watched a ton of this being open, but he's definitely buried in the commons of these, that's for sure. All right, another Super Bowl Brady. Chuba Hubbard. Ooh, that's a nice Lawrence. You like the background matching team color on that. Joe Green, the legend. Jahan Dotson for Tom's Commanders. Oof, that is nice. Pretty Barry Sanders in the green mosaic. And more kid reporters. We've got three to go in blaster number two. 
We say, Shane. Yes. I'd take any party, but hitting in that mosaic would be lovely. Or a Genesis. And this one, I'm not sure what happened. We can't feel it. Definitely, if you can see in the background there on the left, that has no... So it doesn't feel like dimples, but maybe something in the coloration. But it's Jeffrey Simmons, so we'll hope it won't be transferred to any other cards. Nico Collins. Darnell. There's a Herbert. Ah, it's sharp. Lamar in the green mosaic. Touchdown Masters. And our Hall of Fame is going to be Chris Carter. Yeah, they're paying. They're paying a premium for Mr. Purdy right now. It's a good flip, though. I know they're going to stick with him through the playoffs, but past that, there's no guarantee. I would say sell him while he's hot for sure. Of course, he's doing a good job for him. There's Harold Landry. Malik Willis. Well, it's got something on the top, but again, these you can't feel anything like a dimple or something that's pressed into the card. It definitely looks like it's before the foil's been laid to it. Buda Baker. Chris Godwin. Marshawn Lattimore. And Will to Win is Kirk Cousins. All right, one more in number two. Foil is flimsy on these, that's for sure. All right, more LT. Another Jamar. And that one's got a little bit on the side. I like that. John Elway and Sharp. Stefan Diggs. Another Cam Thomas. Green is going to be DeAndre Swift. And that is number two. We'll roll right into number three. Yeah, that's a fact, Jason. All right, let's get the pin stuck under there. there we go. Definitely have to get the other tool back in here. Miss it already. This plastic cellophane is tougher than the foil on the packs. All right. Hmm. What do you say, Jason? Long time, buddy. How you been? That's right, Shane. Happy Friday. All right. What do we have? Six more to go. Like I said, I'll post in the community tab there. When we get the sale going, won't be more than a couple days. All right, last one. We got James Conner. Not too bad there. Trevon Walker. Jared Goff. Some turnaround lines this year. Eli Mitchell. It's not a bad rookie. All right, second guess. Yes, rookie. Mac Jones. Oof. Jalen Waddle will to win. Not a bad first pack. Seeing some different fellas for sure. You're not the only one, Al. I'm looking forward to some days off. All right. Tony Romo. Jonathan Taylor. Get him back to healthy. There's Gabe Davis. Had him on the fantasy. Up and down. Laramie Tunsil. There's 
Uh, Quan Wu. <laughs> Let's get to the green. Not too bad. Jalen Tolbert. That green mosaic. Those are pretty. Kid reporting galore. All right, I'll check. We'll do, Jason. All right. My goodness, Terry Bradshaw. Robert Quinn. Fred Taylor. Derek. Ooh, saw that silver and got excited for a split second. That's not bad, though. John Mechie. That really isn't bad at all. For the Texans. In the prism. That's a keeper. Jim Kelly. I got you, Jason. Here we go. Good start on that one. It's a debut. Still sharp. Chris Olave. Out of Ohio. Warren Sat. Justin Tucker. Kadarius Tony. Sam Williams, rookie for the Cowboys. Oh, nice green Patty Mahomes. Sharp. Good pack there. Let's get that stack moved before we do any damage. All right, two more to go. We say chatty. Yes, sir. We did open those first. Got an auto, but it wasn't significant. Ended up liking them, man. Those are nice cards. Those are nice cards. Big, thick stock on them. Got the nice, shiny, foily background. Good start there with Justin. Brian Burns. Ooh. Brett Favre. Good quarterback. Bad investor. Ah, there we go. Nice mosaic for Tom and that uh, Super Bowl MVP. And Thunder Lane, Austin Eckler. Some nice cards in that pack. We've got one more. Foil gets a D on this. All right. There we go. Joe Montana. And Robinson. Nick Chubb from a Browns. Joey Bosa. Woods on the Browns RC. And going to be Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook in the green mosaic for the Vikes. And more kid reporting. The tornado of boxes and packs behind me says that we are finished with the extravaganza. Like I said, I had to stop at Walmart and scratch the old itch. It's been a while between releases. But we do have uh, Tops Chrome Sonic that'll be out sometime in February. Check the interwebs and see what the gurus say. I'm sure Beckett or uh, Cardboard Connection will have a release date as soon as... Uh, so I'll post it as soon as one of them gets it, I'm sure. And I will again post in the community tab here in a couple days. Once I finish getting everything sorted, which we're about 95% done, and we'll get the next sale rolling. Two out of ten is very nice. I'm just catching up in the chat. Yeah, Edward's easy driver to like, isn't he? Well, gang, I appreciate y'all stopping by. We can go ahead and resume with the weekend plans. Hope everybody has a good weekend. Watch plenty of football. A little bit of college basketball this weekend. And uh more I'm thinking about football, the more I'm thinking Monday night would probably be more conducive to the sales. So, uh, like I said, just check that community tab. Give this a quick thumbs up so we can inspire the algorithm. And uh, like I said, hope you all have a good weekend and we'll see you guys back here in a couple days.
Everybody here from Stevens Cards wish you well, and y'all take care, guys. Bye-bye.